What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. And I'm about to head into the store here in just a couple minutes. Um, went to bed a little bit earlier than I have over the past week or so, which is definitely a good thing. I've been staying up way, way, way too late. I've been getting up way too late, going into the store way too late, so I'm trying to turn that around. Um, so I'm heading in here in just a minute, and this is like hours earlier than I went in the past few days. So this is a very, very good thing. Um, but I figured I would start the vlog before heading in, because usually it seems like when I get there, I just like start working, I start doing shipping, I start doing whatever, and I don't film for like a couple hours at least, which, you know, I want to be filming throughout the day, give you guys good videos and everything. So, figured I would start now. Um, we have the lady that I got the Fallout statue from. Uh, she has continued to, you know, sell us stuff. You guys have seen it. Um, she brought, like, the a PS4 bundle into the store. I went back and got the Virtual Boy kiosk and stuff like that. And she is planning on coming into the store again today, bringing all of the 3DO stuff. And from what I saw... When I was at her house, there's a decent amount of it. It's not just like five games. It's like a good amount of stuff. And since we stopped collecting 3DO, that is all going to be going into the store's inventory, hopefully today. So, obviously, I can't make any promises, but I will let you know later in this video. But hopefully, by the time this video goes up, that stuff is in the system. So, um... You know, that should be today, like I said, hopefully. And I'll let you guys know later if I can't get to it. She's going to drop it off. And then my plan is to get it entered today. Um, so, we'll see what happens. Arya's chilling over here. Hi, kitten. Hi. Uh, right by the window. Or the door. Hi, Arya. What you doing? Hey. <laughs> You're so cute. She's such a good girl. And little homie, he's a good boy. Yes, he is. He just went outside, so I'm not gonna let him back out because I'm about to leave. But Box Mountain is still freaking massive. My plan for this is to try to get it done before, before Wednesday. I'm gonna close this since I'm about to leave. I'm trying to block out the heat. But, um, We've heard that all the work that they're doing on the house is supposed to be done um, by early this coming week, meaning that we are still on track for our closing, which they're shooting for around August 20th, which is coming up so quick. That's like less than a week, which is insane. But what that means is that we could potentially have the keys to our brand new house in less than a week, and that's crazy. And I don't think, I don't think that everything will be packed up in a week because there's still so much to do, but we're definitely getting closer. So I'm just gonna keep working on that, you know, when I'm, when I'm actually home. But for now, let's head into the store. Look at these orders I need to ship. Most of these Amiibo are for one order. One person made a massive order. You can see their papers up there. Uh, multiple papers worth of, of items. And uh, yeah, they bought, they bought, I want to say like half of the collection we got from our friend Scott. So that is crazy. That stuff is hopefully going to be shipped by the end of today. Um, as you can see, the plushies are not in here. There's a couple here that I forgot to put in the system. Hey, I think What's they're up? really cute. No. I like you a lot. Do you want to go on a date with me this weekend? Yeah. Zelda! Link! Oh boy, smooching time! Ah! When? Uh, Tuesday. Where? <laughs> Smoking oak. <laughs> Again? Yeah! Why? I don't know, because I like it. I like Makoto, but we never go there. <gasps> Buffets are not good during COVID. They are when you just get sashimi and the waitress brings it to the table. <laughs> okay, but they aren't because of... No. I'm taking you on a date. We go where I want to take us. Fine, then you're driving and you're paying. Fine, I'll do it. Also, I got this. Do you want it? Sure. Oh. I have a bunch of those. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. But we got all the plushies out 
I'll show you guys the wall later. Ryan and I worked on, well, he stickered everything this morning, but, or him and Kyle did, but we got it. Ryan and I got it put out. But these are all the trade-ins so far from today. And I know that Abby's working on another really big one right now. So I better get to work and film these, get these, you know, sorted and, and put out and everything. And uh, <laughs> there's so much today. Let's start with the Wii games first. We have DJ Hero 2, Fling Smash, Ninja Reflex, Just Dance 2, Just Dance 1, Rayman Raving Rabbids, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Lego Star Wars 3, and Call of Duty Black Ops. And as you can see, I am putting them, I did sort them all by price. Um, for the Switch, we have two games. We have Ring Fit Adventure, just a game, which I don't know what you can do <laughs> with just that, and ARMS. I've never played it. I assume you need the actual ring, but I don't know. For PSP, we have MLB, Madden 07, Hot Shots Golf Open Tee, MX, or no, ATV Offroad Fury Blazon Trails, SOCOM Tactical Strike, and Luxor, The Wrath of Set. For the Wii U, we have Star Fox Guard, and then two copies of LEGO Dimensions. For the DS, we have some loose ones first, Fazbro Family Game Night, Nancy Drew, Skylanders Fires Adventure, Skylanders Trap Team, and another Nancy Drew game. And then Word Jong, Medios, Disney Magic, New York Times Crosswords, My Healthy Cooking Coach, My Spanish Coach, and My French Coach. For PlayStation 3, we have Skylanders Giants, NCAA 10, Disney Infinity 2.0, two of those. FIFA 12, Dead Island Game of the Year, Borderlands 2, Infamous, FIFA 15, Crisis 2 Limited Edition, Uncharted 3, a couple of those, Valkyria Chronicles, MotorStorm, Tiger Woods 13, Fallout New Vegas, uh, Dark Kingdom, Untold Legends, Grand Theft Auto 5, Fallen Angel Sacred 2, and Dragon Age 2. And then for the 360... Project Gotham Racing 3, Borderlands, FIFA 13, Hitman Absolution, Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 6, Prince of Persia, uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted Limited Edition, Sonic Free Riders, Tomb Raider, Lego Batman 2, Forza 2, The Outfit, uh, Disc Only, Record of Agarest War, Sims 3 Pets, and Sonic Unleashed. And then the rest is PS2. I did not sort these sports games out. So you can just look at them like this. There's a lot of them. I don't think any of these are more expensive, but honestly, I did not look. This is kind of how they brought them back here. I just added a couple more to the top that were mixed in with the rest. But I'm assuming that these are all probably 99 cents. Maybe some of them are three or five. I don't know. I'm not going to go through them all. They should all just probably be a dollar. But we have some PS2 games here. So we're going to start with this stack here. These are all $2.99. We have Call of Duty Finest Hour, Motocross Mania 3, SOCOM 2, ATV Off-Road Fury, Cabela's Dangerous Hunts, Ghost Recon, Buzz the Mega Quiz, uh, Rapala Pro Fishing, Power Drome, Pinball Hall of Fame, Gottlieb Collection, uh, Cart Fury, another pinball, ATV Off-Road Fury 2, a couple copies, SOCOM 1, Cabela's African Safari, another copy of Power Drum, IHRA Drag Racing 2, Trigger Man, High School Musical Sing It, and Hot Shots Golf 3. And then we have a stack of $5 games here. Superman Returns, Bionicle, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, SSX, Karaoke Revolution, Grand Theft Auto 3, Meet the Robinsons, Guitar Hero 1, Tetris Worlds, Rally Fusion, Ace Combat 4, MX Unleashed, Call of Duty 2, Terminator, Dawn of Fate, NASCAR Heat 2002, MX World Tour, Siphon Filter, The Omega Strain, Starsky and Hutch, Kung Fu Panda, Shark Tale, Smuggler's Run, Hitman Contracts, Hitman Silent Assassin, Finding Nemo, Outlaw Golf 2, and Guitar Hero 2. And then we have the last stack here, which is $8 and up. We have, uh, I almost said Guitar Hero, God of War 2, Superman Shadow of Apocalypse, Fight Night Round 2, Gun, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, Dance Dance Revolution Extreme, Theme Park Roller Coaster, Guitar Hero 3, couple copies, Intellivision Lives, GoldenEye Rogue Agent, Call of Duty World at War Final Fronts, Power Rangers Dino Thunder, uh, Guitar Hero Aerosmith, One Piece Grand Battle, Batman Begins, Kids Pl uh, Konami Kids Playground Alphabet Circus, Tomb Raider Legend, Ace Combat 5, 
Ben 10 Protector of Earth, Star Wars Racer Revenge, Saturday Night Speedway, The Cat in the Hat, Shaman King Power of Spirit, Smackdown Just Bring It, Disgaea 2 Cursed Memories, Chaos Wars, Ephemeral Fantasia, Gungrave Overdose, and Forever Kingdom. No manual. So sad. But overall, some cool stuff. Where are the other trade-ins? Um, we have a really nice N64 trade-in happening right now. So stay tuned. So I wanted to clear up some possible confusion from something that happened in, I believe it was yesterday's video. Uh, the package that we opened, we were a little confused about that one because normally we make an offer before stuff gets here and it says on, we have people include a note that says, you know, here, like, here's the PayPal information, here's what we agreed upon, blah, blah, blah. With this one, for whatever reason, I'm not even sure why, we decided to to not even make an offer till they sent it. Um, we don't typically do that because what if someone doesn't like the offer, of course, but um, for whatever reason, that that's what we did. And so there were some items in there that we weren't, that we weren't expecting. And so there was a little bit of confusion and we didn't like, we didn't say it or anything, but I, I kind of feel like it was almost implied that they were giving us things for free. And that was not the case. Every single item that was in that package, we did pay for. We did come to an agreement. And I want to let you guys know that those, the Evangelion Blu-rays, because somebody was asking about them, um, they are now available. They're on our website. They're not going on eBay. Uh, but I wanted just to, you know, talk about that. And then we do have more trade to look at as well. I showed you a bunch earlier, but what's left is all the really, really good stuff. All right, guys, it is almost 9 p.m., so I need to get the rest of these trades filmed so that I can get this stuff done and go home. As you can see, I haven't worked on shipping yet. I was working on entering stuff all day. I am going to stay a little bit later and do some shipping before I leave as well, but here's the rest of the trades from today. We have a Game Shark for the N64. This is a 2.0, and yes, it has been tested. It is fully working, which is awesome because they never work. We have a Game Boy Advance SP. We have a Pokemon Red version. We have a random stack here, as you can see, of just a bunch of different stuff. This is not sorted at all. So we have NBA 2K1 for Dreamcast, Simpsons Wrestling, Final Fantasy VII, Mario Kart Wii, Mario Party 8, Donkey Kong Country Returns, SOCOM Fireteam Bravo for PSP, Wii Sports, Winnie the Pooh's Rumbly Tumbly Adventure, Mario Party 9, which is awesome, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Mario Kart 7, Medal of Honor, Need for Speed Carbon, Killzone Shadowfall, Resident Evil 5, Need for Speed, Alien Isolation, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Then we have a little stack of Super Nintendo, and we're going to finish off with N64. We have Scooby-Doo Mystery, Super WrestleMania, Jurassic Park, Toy Story, Clay Fighter, The Lion King, and Goof Troop, and then N64. There's lots of good stuff in here. Very, very happy with this. Our N64 cabinet is the most empty looking cabinet out of all of them. We have lots of sports games and lots of Japanese games, but we're missing like a lot of good stuff. So we have MRC, Our Marines Project Swarm, Star Wars Episode One Racer, 1080 Snowboarding, Monster Truck Madness 64, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, Lego Racers, and this was from two, I think, two separate trade-ins here, so there are going to be some duplicates, Superman 64, Wave Race, Glover, Command and Conquer, Perfect Dark, Duke Nukem Zero Hour, Spider-Man, there are two copies, one of them's got some paint on it, unfortunately, Diddy Kong Racing, there are two copies, Pokemon Stadium, there are two copies, then we have Goldeneye, Yoshi's Story, Donkey Kong 64, Ocarina of Time, Mario Party 2, and Majora's Mask, which unfortunately has a little bit of plastic missing there. The game works perfectly fine, it's just kind of ugly, but we never get that game in, so I'd rather have a, a cracked copy than no copy. Alright guys, it's 10.15pm, it is time for me to head home, Abby left a while ago. Um, which is fine, of course. She comes in earlier than I do. And can't leave the light on. Um, and yeah, I 
I like to wait until the resurfacer is done because we run it throughout the day. And so we just finished these 50 discs right here. They go in these cases. So I put them out here, take them out of the machine, put them out here. The guys in the morning, they put them all in and then everything else that's here is ready to go out. So this is all stuff that was either traded in today or maybe yesterday or stuff that was finished being resurfaced or whatever. Anytime it's ready to go out on the shelves, I put it right here. So that is all that. I got 50 more discs in the resurfacer that I just started. So when we come in tomorrow, those will also be done, which is super, super cool. It's very convenient to do it like that. Um, we did have one more trade-in that came in today that was dropped off and I finished it after we closed. They have accepted our offer, but, um, but I'm going to show you guys that stuff tomorrow. Um, it is mostly Panasonic 3DO stuff. There is a little bit of uh, PS1, but the main, the main thing is the 3DO. The PS1 stuff is mostly disc only or disc and manual only, and it's all filler titles. So the disc only stuff's not even going in the system. But that is going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. Maybe.